Voiceless fricatives produced in the postalveolar region include the voiceless palato alveolar fricative, the voiceless postalveolar non sibilant fricative, the voiceless retroflex fricative, and the voiceless alveolopalatal fricative. This article discusses the first two. Topic. Voiceless palato alveolar fricative A voiceless palato alveolar fricative or voiceless domed postalveolar fricative is a type of consonantal sound used in many languages, including English. In English, it is usually spelled shish, as in ship. The symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet that represents this sound is the letter esh introduced by Isaac Pittman, not to be confused with the integral symbol. The equivalent X Sampa symbol is S. An alternative symbol is an S with a Karen or Hachik, which is used in the Americanist phonetic notation and the Uralic phonetic alphabet, as well as in the scientific and ISO 9 transliterations of Cyrillic. It originated with the Czech orthography of Jan Hus and was adopted in Gaje's Latin alphabet and other Latin alphabets of Slavic languages. It also features in the orthographies of many Baltic, Finno Lapic, North American, and African languages. Topic. Features Features of the voiceless palato alveolar fricative Its manner of articulation is sibilant fricative, which means it is generally produced by channeling air flow along a groove in the back of the tongue up to the place of articulation, at which point it is focused against the sharp edge of the nearly clenched teeth, causing high frequency turbulence. Its place of articulation is palato-alveolar, that is, domed, partially palatalized post-alveolar, which means it is articulated with the blade of the tongue behind the alveolar ridge, and the front of the tongue bunched up, domed, at the palate. Its phonation is voiceless, which means it is produced without vibrations of the vocal cords. In some languages the vocal cords are actively separated, so it is always voiceless, in others the cords are lax, so that it may take on the voicing of adjacent sounds. It is an oral consonant, which means air is allowed to escape through the mouth only. It is a central consonant, which means it is produced by directing the airstream along the center of the tongue, rather than to the sides. The airstream mechanism is pulmonic, which means it is articulated by pushing air solely with the lungs and diaphragm, as in most sounds. Topic. Occurrence In various languages, including English and French, it may have simultaneous labialization, i.e., although this is usually not transcribed. Classical Latin did not have, though it does occur in most Romance languages. For example, ch in French chanter, singer, is pronounced. Chanter is descended from Latin canter, where c was pronounced, k. The sc in Latin scientia, science, was pronounced, sk, but has shifted to in Italian scienza. Similarly, Proto-Germanic had neither nor yet many of its descendants do. In most cases, this or descends from a Proto-Germanic sk. For instance, Proto-Germanic asterisk skippa, hollow object, water-borne vessel larger than a boat, was pronounced ski p. The English word ship p has been pronounced without the sk, the longest, the word being descended from Old English scip. IP, which already also had the though the Old English spelling etymologically indicated that the old SK had once been present. This change took longer to catch on in West Germanic languages other than Old English, though it eventually did. The second West Germanic language to undergo this sound shift was Old High German. In fact, it has been argued that Old High German's SK was actually already SK because a single S had already shifted to S. Furthermore, by Middle High German, that s k had shifted to After High German, the shift most likely then occurred in Low Saxon. After Low Saxon, Middle Dutch began the shift, but it stopped shifting once it reached sx, and has kept that pronunciation since. Then, most likely through influence from German and Low Saxon, North Frisian experienced the shift. Then, Swedish quite swiftly underwent the shift, which resulted in the very uncommon phoneme, which, aside from Swedish, is only used in Colonian, a variety of High German, though not as a replacement for the standard High German, but a coronalized c. However, the exact realization of Swedish varies considerably among dialects, for instance, in northern dialects it tends to be realized as 
CSJ Sound for more details. Finally, the last to undergo the shift was Norwegian, in which the result of the shift was the sound in Russian denoted by S is commonly transcribed as a palato alveolar fricative but is actually a laminal retroflex fricative. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Voiceless postalveolar non-sibilant fricative. The voiceless postalveolar non-sibilant fricative is a consonantal sound. As the International Phonetic Alphabet does not have separate symbols for the post-alveolar consonants the same symbol is used for all coronal places of articulation that aren't palatalized, this sound is usually transcribed retracted constricted voiceless. The equivalent X Sampa symbol is R underscore underscore zero underscore R. Features <laughs> 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 Its manner of articulation is fricative, which means it is produced by constricting air flow through a narrow channel at the place of articulation, causing turbulence. However, it does not have the grooved tongue and directed air flow, or the high frequencies, of a sibilant. Its place of articulation is postalveolar, which means it is articulated with either the tip or the blade of the tongue behind the alveolar ridge. Its phonation is voiceless, which means it is produced without vibrations of the vocal cords. In some languages the vocal cords are actively separated, so it is always voiceless, in others the cords are lax, so that it may take on the voicing of adjacent sounds. It is an oral consonant, which means air is allowed to escape through the mouth only. It is a central consonant, which means it is produced by directing the airstream along the center of the tongue, rather than to the sides. The airstream mechanism is pulmonic, which means it is articulated by pushing air solely with the lungs and diaphragm, as in most sounds. Topic. Occurrence Topic. See also Index of phonetics articles Cedilla Notes <laughs>